right. This is exciting. I'm Oz Dusile with Excel in the Wild. I'm an Excel MVP, and I've been working with Excel for 15 years. And a lot of conversations I'm involved in are experts talking to experts about how they could get more from data, how Excel could be better. We write blogs. I've written a book. And we guess at what non-data professionals do, what they experience. So I'm glad to have Paige Worthy up. We're going to talk to Paige, who is a content strategist, client services director, a writer, an editor. You describe yourself as cheeky. I am so not. Some, bring some cheeky. <laughs> And we've known each other a few years. And we've had conversations in the past about how you said you wanted to know more about Excel and about working with data. And I wanted to find out about what is your world like? Say something about who you are and take us into your relationship with data. I, I will. Um like I said, I'm Paige, and uh, my my day job is as client services director for a small digital marketing agency within the landscaping vertical. So we're called Landscape Leadership, and we we work with landscaping companies and other green industry businesses all over the country, uh, working with them to kind of increase and better optimize their digital footprint and help them bring in qualified leads through their websites. Uh, we create all kinds of content, um, blog posts, lead gen content. Uh, we do some email marketing. We actually create websites from the ground up. A lot of, a lot of really great content we try to create for these, these clients of ours to, in a very traditional industry. Uh, landscapers are pretty old school, mm -hmm. and, uh, but, but they, they still have these really incredible, very sophisticated businesses. So, we have to find that intersection between the work that we do and the sales that they're making. And I think one of our, one of our biggest data struggles and, and one that is hard to reconcile because, because there can be such a disconnect between the marketing data that we generate and the sales data that they have on, on their ends of things, they don't always meet up in the middle. So, so one of our challenges is finding a way to bring those two data sources together and help establish some sort of benchmark for return on investment and, and figure out exactly, you know, how, how effective our content really is in helping them generate sales, get new customers, and, and then, you know, what specifically what content has worked the best to, to bring people in and what, you know, what's really generating the very best most qualified interest in their business based on the content we create. 